Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. My name is Peter Wolf and we are here at the Wolf College of Coffee and we are talking today about how do I change the gas type from my on my coffee roaster and we're going to be looking at you know changing from say bottle gas to main gas and back the other way. Firstly there are two types of burners and you need to really understand what burner you've got. Uh, on these two that I'm holding here are what we call atmospheric burners um, and they're very straightforward. Um, they have a little jet that lives on the bottom or a, a jickler is the other word for it and the way that these simply work is that the gas is, comes through, passes through the restrictor or the jet uh, and as you can see on the bottom of this particular burner it has like a flare on the bottom or a cone shape. As the gas is, is coming up through the, through the burner housing here it creates basically a venturi and so what it does is it also draws the air up at the same time so it draws the oxygen up gas is coming up and then it gets lit here on the top and this is basically what we call an atmospheric burner. They look like this um, and you know you can have a number of these on one roast or you can have it all sort of combined into one simple unit like this one here that comes from from Bosch uh, and this is also what we call a waffle burner. That's that type. The second type that we have is what's called a premix burner. We have talked about these a little bit more in the past but simply yes connected to the gas over here and uh, along the bottom here I have a fan that moves at a specific uh, rotation or a speed and this will blend and suck in basically the air and the gas and mixes the two together at the same time so then it sends the combined air and gas so pre-mixing the air and gas together and then would bring it forward from you know from this extension here into the firing unit where it would then um, be lit and uh, would be sort of powering your roaster so that's the premix and the atmospheric. So back to the atmospheric. First thing you need to know is that if you have a roaster that's running on bottle gas and you're wanting to convert it to um, mains gas, this is perhaps the easiest of the conversions to do because realistically you can use the existing jets that are there. All that one needs to do is drill the jets a little bit bigger. Now, I know you're going to ask me what size that should be. What you need to do is uh, ring the manufacturer or consult your local plumber uh, or gas fitter that you are using, and then they'll be able to work out what that calculation should be. But really simply, at the very top of each of these jets, there's a little small hole on the top, and all you need to do is uh, drill each one of these out it's large enough to, uh, to work for the conversion from LPG down to uh, natural gas and that's really straightforward. You will also need to change the pilot assembly. There's a little, uh, a smaller one of these also in the pilot light and that will also need to be drilled out and made larger. Now, unfortunately, if you're going the other way and you're wanting to change from mains gas to bottle gas, then these physically will have to be replaced because you can't physically make the hole smaller. And so you'll have to physically take these out and then replace them. And it's simply, you know, with most of the burners, it would be disconnecting it from the main gas and then uh, physically pulling the rack apart. And then on each one of these uh, tubes here, we have the, the, the jiggler that puts in it. Screw that out, replace it with the next one, uh, change the pilot, pilot light jickler over as well and you should be good to go. Now finally, if you do find yourself with a premix burner, perhaps the most easiest of the, of the two that needs to be done, because physically there's no parts that need to be changed in the roaster whatsoever. It's all about software. Uh, so again, consult the manufacturer uh, of the roaster or the burner manufacturer, uh, and then the software can be written and installed onto your roaster to basically change the speed of which the, the, the fan will blend the gas to the um, to the air and therefore you know getting the right um, I guess the right composition of fuel and air going into to light the roaster. So there we have it that's how we change our gas type over fairly straightforward if you have any more questions uh, please continue uh, to uh, write below please continue to subscribe and spread the word uh, we certainly love enjoy having uh, having the time with you today uh, to talk about changing gas types. Thank you for watching.